I can't believe I've been a plush collector for over 10 years now and this is my first university plush. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Tuesday, I am going to be doing part haul, part plush review because I put in a Bello Shop HK order. Now if you haven't seen my hauls before, I love buying from Bello Shop HK. I haven't done it for a while but I do have another order on the way, so make sure you're subscribed because another haul is coming. But normally I optimistically wait to see if things will come to the UK, but these definitely won't because they are only sold at the Japan Disney store I believe. So when we went to Tokyo in May 2019 I wanted a university blush but there wasn't one for a character I really loved. I was quite tempted by the Rapunzel and Flynn I believe but like I really wanted something that was just irresistible and there has been a Sully one apparently but I don't have it and I don't know where to get it but I don't think I discovered Bello Shop HK at the time. But Bello Shop HK pick up from Tokyo Disney Resort, Japan Disney Store, Hong Kong Disneyland and Shanghai Disney Resort. So you can get everything from all of those parks. They will hold what you've ordered until everything arrives and then just post it to you. Obviously some things take longer. I did order some things from Japan in the other order so it took an extra four weeks to pick up because everything from Hong Kong was picked up straight away because they're based in Hong Kong but then everything else has to be shipped to them. So it's on its way now but I put this order in a few weeks after and it came quicker because it was just these items. And I say items even though I said it was my first plush because I bought three. So I've kept them in their box. I am going to have a look at how much delivery was actually just so that you can get a rough idea of how much this has cost me. So it was $25 delivery the plushes came to $180 and yeah no regrets it was a treat to myself um it's probably one of my final big treats to myself so I had to do it you will see when I open it why I couldn't have just got one but to give you time scales I ordered on the 21st of January it shipped on the 27th of January because they picked a lot up at the same time and I put my order in when they were doing the large pickup for them and it got here on the 6th of February so it didn't take long at all I had been putting off putting in my Bello Shop orders because of the cyber attack that affected Royal Mail's international order but it seems to have all been resolved now and I'm hoping that my other order that shipped this week is just as quick. So without further ado, let's open the box. I did rip it because I had to have a look the day I got it. I couldn't wait and to be honest, I couldn't believe that there were three plush in here but that's how well they've packaged it. So let's open it up. So if you don't already know, and honestly, if you don't, why don't you? I say it all the time. My top three movies are Oliver and Company, The Aristocats and Robin Hood. So when I saw that they had bought out Aristocats Universities, I had to get them. I had been toying with the idea of just having one, but honestly, no. I can't pick a favourite. I do have the odd one from mystery boxes and things but when I have the opportunity to buy three I will always buy all three but look how cutely packaged they are so that they would all fit in that box so I'm going to get Marie out first here she is I'm going to do reviews of them once they are all out of their packaging and then Toulouse and Berlioz are in their packaging as well there they are and there's a little thank you note from Bello Shop HK so I'm going to start with my favourite Berlioz. So he is the dark kitty with a little red bow. He has the university logo on his foot and he's got a fluffy tail and a fluffy belly. He's got a university tag as well which I don't know whether I'll put a tag protector on because they seem more sturdy than our tags and they're a lot smaller as well so there would be a lot of wasted space if I used a tag protector. But 
I've always wanted a university plush. I swear they have gotten smaller because I'm sure they were bigger when I was looking at them in Tokyo, but maybe they're smaller because there's three of them. I'm not sure. And then moving on to Toulouse. So he is the ginger cat and he's got a blue bow. I've just noticed that they've all got little buttons on the back so you can take their bow off, but honestly, why would you? He's got a fluffy belly and a fluffy tail and again the tag and the university logo. I don't know much about the university bears. I don't know whether they're released monthly, quarterly, bi-monthly. I don't know much about them at all. All I know is that they are big in Japan and ever since we left Japan I have regretted not getting one. Like I said in the intro, I've been a plush collector for 10 plus years and I don't own one of these, but now I own three and I've broke my bank account. And finally, Marie. Her stuffing is a little disappointing, but honestly, that's the risk you take when it's picked up for you rather than you picking it up yourself. But could I afford to go to Tokyo to get them myself? No. So I'm very grateful for the service. The boy's legs aren't that bad, so it might just be a case of redistributing the beans in her. So she's obviously white with pale pink bows. Her bow is on the back. But it does have a little button to take it off. It would be good if you're cleaning maybe to take it off to get under the neck but I don't know why you would need to clean it that deeply. Again you've got the little logo and the tag. They were 4,180 yen which works out to about $32 when they are $50 on Bell Out Shop. Now that will be because it has to be shipped from Japan to Hong Kong for them to post it to you. You're made aware of that when you are buying. If you want to buy something that's from anywhere but Hong Kong, it will tell you the turnaround time. And I often find that those items are priced a little higher to include that postage. But I knew that going in, I wouldn't have been able to get them on eBay for cheaper. And I worry with eBay because they usually use stock photos that I wouldn't be getting a genuine one. Whereas with Bello Shop, every single day on their Instagram stories, they post pictures of what they've picked up for people. So I knew which one was my order because they then attach that to your record. So you get an email with the picture of what they've picked up for you. So I knew they had them all. I knew they were authentic and they came really quickly. So to go through my regular plush review, format now. They are Aristocats University plushies that are available from the Japan Disney Store. I've just done some reading up on University plushies and they are also available in Shanghai now but these were definitely from the Japan Disney Store. They are the first ones that have been released in 2023. The last release before that in 2022 was the Toy Story release and I was tempted to get the Ducky and Bunny but my absolute grail is the Sole. For the Aristocats, I love that they are in bear form because I'm actually not a cat person, I'm a dog person, if that's not obvious by my dog stitch. Like I said, they would be $32 if you bought them yourself from Tokyo, but they are $50 on Bello Shop HK because of the postage situation and obviously there's a pickup fee included in that, but all of their fees are upfront. It's just that shipping is determined by how much you've bought. So it was $25 for these three but when I've just bought a few new emos that can be put in a smaller box it has been $13 which I don't think is bad at all especially when I was buying the Kermit new emo that had sold out for my friends so I didn't mind paying an extra $13 when they were going for double or triple their original cost on eBay. Obviously they are special because they are part of a Japanese range. Everything I've ever loved seems to come from Tokyo. You have Samsums, you Foofies, Nuimos and now Universities. I can't believe it took me so long to own one and then in one go I dropped a load of money and bought three but I hope you can understand especially if you love the Aristocats that I couldn't have them separately basically. So are they worth the money? I would say yes they are because I've just looked on eBay and they are £70 each plus the shipping on top. Like I said, they're using stock footage, so I don't know whether they are even legit. Whereas I know that these all came from the Japan Disney Store. They were packaged with care. I didn't pay much postage. Yes, I had to pay a little bit more for them to be posted from 
Japan to Hong Kong but I don't mind that at all and I'm just so happy to own them. So this is probably going to start an obsession with university plushes isn't it? I don't mind. I'm going to be on the hunt for the silly one. I probably won't ever get to own it but you never know. But these are my first three university plushes. They also do them in keychain form if you collect those but I had to get the regular plush form. If I do buy another one and there is a size difference as I thought these might be smaller because there's three of them I will obviously do a size comparison as I could have sworn they used to be bigger so it might just depend on the character that they're based on but these are my little bear kittens I love them so much and I really hope you enjoyed my plush review of them like I said I do have another Bello shop order on the way which includes some sullies some new emos you won't want to miss it so make sure you subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss that video. So that is it from me. I hope you have a good week and I will see you on Friday for a new video. Bye friends.